the entrance antithon, all that you have done to us, O Lord, you have done with true judgment, for we have not sinned against you and not obeyed your commandments. But give glory to your name and deal with us accordingly to the bounty of your mercy. Good morning. All very welcome to Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. We just pause for a moment again now, asking the Lord to remove the worries, the fears, and the distractions from our minds. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who taught the martyr St. Winslow to place the heavenly kingdom before the earthly one, grant through his prayers that denying ourselves, we may hold fast to you with all our heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Job. One day when the angels of God came to present themselves before the Lord, Satan also came among them. And the Lord said to Satan, Whence do you come? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From roaming the earth and patrolling it. And the Lord said to Satan, Have you noticed my servant Job, that there is no one on earth like him, blameless and upright, fearing God and avoiding evil? But Satan answered the Lord and said, is it for nothing that Job is God-fearing? Have you not surrounded him and his family and all that he has with your protection? You have blessed the work of his hands and his livestock are spread over the land. But now put forth your hand and touch anything that he has and surely he will blaspheme you to your face. And the Lord said to Satan, behold, all that he has is in your power, only do not lay a hand upon his person. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord. And so one day, while his sons and daughters were eating and drinking wine in the house of their eldest brother, a messenger came to Job and said, the oxen were plowing and the asses grazing beside them, and the Sabaeans carried them off in a raid. They put the herdsmen to the sword, and I alone have escaped to tell you. While he was speaking, another came and said, lightning has fallen from the heavens and struck the sheep and the shepherds and consumed them, and I alone have escaped to tell you. While he was yet speaking, another messenger came and said, the Chaldeans formed three columns, seized the camels, carried them off, and put those tending to them to the sword, and I alone have escaped to tell you. While he was yet, while he was yet speaking, another came and said, your sons and daughters were eating and drinking wine in the house of their eldest brother, when suddenly a great wind came upon the desert and smote the four corners of the house. It fell upon the young people, and they are dead, and I alone have escaped to tell you. Then Job became, began to tear off his cloak and cut off his hair. He cast himself prostrate upon the ground and said, Naked I come forth from my mother's womb and naked shall I go back again. The Lord gave and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In all this, Jake, Job did not sin, nor he said anything dis disrespectful of God. The word of the Lord. Thank you, God. Incline your ear to hear me and hear my word. 
Incline your ear to hear me and hear my word. Hear, O Lord, a just suit. Attend to my outcry. Hearken to my prayers from lips without deceit. Incline your ear to me and hear my word. From you let my judgment come. Your eyes behold what is right. Though you test my heart, searching it in the night, though you try me with fire, you shall find no malice in me. In clear you recline you here to hear me. I call upon you, for you will answer me, O God. Incline your ear to me, hear my word. Show your wondrous mercies, O Savior of those who flee, from their foes to refuge at your right hand. Incline your ear to me. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. If today you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Alleluia, oh, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. An argument rose among the disciples about which of them was the greatest. Jesus realized the intention of their hearts and took a child and placed it by his side and said to them, Whoever receives this child in my name receives me. And whoever receives me, receives the one who sent me. For the one who is least among all of you is the one who is the greatest. Then John said in reply, Master, we saw someone casting out demons in your name and tried to prevent him because he does not follow in our company. Jesus said to him, do not prevent him, for whoever is not against us is for us. The Gospel of the Lord. The first reading this morning is an unusual reading. It's the book of Job. The Lord says to Satan, where have you come from? And he responded, by patrolling the earth. In other words, looking for somebody to tempt. And then the story goes, did you see my son Job? I did. And basically the Lord is saying he's a great man. He really loves me. And Satan replies, Oh, yeah, he loves you, all right. But if you take away everything from him, will he still love you? It's a very unusual story, but the Lord says, okay, you can take away whatever he has, but don't kill him, basically. So Job lost everything, family, wealth, And his uh, friends are telling him, curse God and die. And in the very end of the gospel this morning, or the first reading we hear, naked I came forth from my mother's womb, and naked I shall go back again. The Lord gave, and the Lord can take away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Job stayed faithful to the Lord, 
even in the, vi- in the midst of these very heavy crosses that he experienced. A tremendous reading on how strong a faith Job had. But also it reminds us that Satan never gives up. Those words, where have you come from? And Satan replies, patrolling the world. Patrolling the world, looking for somebody to bring down. Every day we have to pray for protection until the day we die. Because he is trying to bring somebody down. All you have to do is look at your media and see the destruction, the evil that he's able to penetrate in hearts. It's very difficult to be a Job, to have that faith. I came into the world with nothing and I will leave the world with nothing. God can take away, God can give. But in this story of Job, because of Job's faithfulness, he got back more than ever in the end. But when you're in that cross and when you're in that difficulty, it's very hard to hold to your faith. We have to continue to pray for that strength. Amen. Let us humbly now, this morning, raise our hearts, our minds, for Heavenly Father, as we bring the needs before him. That God may continue to look graciously upon his holy church and fill her people with spiritual gifts and graces. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord may rescue the world from the ravages of evil and sin. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God may comfort those who are grieving the death of a loved one, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the unconditional and boundless love of God may help those of us gathered here to love one another in the same manner, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died in baptism with Christ may find lasting peace and eternal refuge at God's right hand, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And today's Mass is for a special intention Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, We continue now to pray as well for all of us who every day are tempted in many different ways. We ask for God's grace and protection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We just pause now for a moment in the silence of your own hearts. Heavenly Father, you know the needs in the hearts of each one here in the church and those listening in the airwaves. We bring all our prayers before you through the intercession of the Blessed Mother, Saint Joseph, Saint Anthony, Saint Paul, Saint Andrew, as we say the Hail Mary together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, become for us the bread of life. Blessed 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of the Lord, the praise of the Lord, and the praise of the Lord, and the Lord. Sanctify our offerings by your blessing, O Lord, we pray, and by your grace may we be set afire with the flame of your love, through which St. Winslow's overcame every bodily torment through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty, eternal God, for you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very suffering are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give ardor to the faith. To their endurance you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, with all creatures of heaven and earth, we sing a new song in adoration. And we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out, and without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the heaven. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat, eat this, this bread, bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spreads throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Edgar, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who've fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. The Lamb of God. This is Jesus, the risen Lord, the healer. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that it should enter into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. May the blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. At this time you can make a spiritual communion. I love you, O oh my God. I cannot receive you in the Holy Communion. Come nevertheless and visit me with your grace. Come spiritually into my heart. Purify it. Sanctify it. Render it like unto your own. Amen. Communion at the thumb. Remember your word to your servant, O oh Lord, by which you have given me hope. This is my comfort when I am brought low.
Remember, O oh most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O virgins of virgins, our mother, to you do we come, before you we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O mother of the word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in your mercy, hear and answer them, amen. O Mary, conceive without sin. May the heart of Jesus in the most blessed sacrament be praised, adored and loved with grateful affection at every moment in all the tabernacles of the world, even to the end of time, amen. Saint Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl around the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Let us pray. May the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken, O Lord, we pray, give us that determination which made your blessed martyr Winslow faithful in your service and victorious in suffering through Christ our Lord. Amen. We will now continue with the benediction and the miraculous medal, Novena. I know some of you may have to leave, but please leave in quietness. Lord, we just thank you for your presence here this morning as we begin a new week. Thank you for the gift of your presence in the Eucharist. Give us a greater love, a greater faith that you are with us, although hidden in the bread, truly present with us this morning. Continue to pray, Lord, for strength to do your will, protection from all evil. We ask in a special way, Lord, at these times of unrest in our country, that you would bring peace and order again into America. That people would be compassionate to one another. That we would realize 
that we're not in charge. You who made us is with us and is guiding us if we look to you. Continue to ask for mercy and healing for those who are sick in our area. Those who have heavy crosses and who are discouraged, that you would give them hope that the evil one would not get his way, that your light would shine strongly on all those who are sick, depressed, those who are caught up in addictions and the mentally ill. We come to you now this morning through the intercession of the Mother of God as we say this novena that has gone up in this church and been said for many, many, many years. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Come, O Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and kindle them in the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created. Let us pray. O oh God, who did instruct the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us the same spirit to be truly wise and ever to rejoice in his consolation through Jesus Christ, our Lord. O oh Mary, conceive without sin. O oh Mary, conceive without sin. O oh Mary, conceive without sin. O Lord Jesus Christ, who have vouchsafed to glorify by numerous miracles the Blessed Virgin Mary, immaculate from the first moment of her conception, grant that all who devoutly implore her protection on earth may eternally enjoy your presence in heaven, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit live and reign, God forever and ever. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, who for the accomplishments of your greatest works have chosen the weak things of this world, that no flesh may glory in your sight, and who, for a better, more widely disfused belief in the Immaculate Conception of your Mother, have wished that the miraculous medal be manifested to St. Catherine Labore. Grant, we beseech you, that filled with like humility, we may glorify this mystery by word and work. Amen. The Memorari. Remember, O most compassionate Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your assistance, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, we fly unto you. O virgins of virgins, our mother, to you do we come, before you we kneel, sinful and sorrowful. O mother of the word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in your clemency, hear and answer them. Amen. The Novena Prayer. O Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of our Lord Jesus and our Mother, penetrated most lively confidence in your all-powerful, never-failing intercession, manifested so often through the miraculous medal, we, your loving and trustful children, implore you to obtain for us the graces and favors we ask during this Novena if they be beneficial to our mortal souls and the souls for whom we pray. You know, O oh Mary, how often our souls have been the sanctuaries of your Son, who hates iniquity. Obtain for us then a deep hatred of sin and the purity of heart, which will attach us to God alone, so that every thought, word, and deed may attend to his greater glory. Obtain for us also a spirit of prayer and self-denial, that we may recover by penance what we have lost by sin, 
and at length attain to the blessed abode where you are queen of angels and of men. An act of consecration to Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. O Virgin, Mother of God, Mary Immaculate, we dedicate and consecrate ourselves to you under the title of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. May this medal be for each one of us a sure sign of your affection for us and a constant reminder of our duties towards you. Ever while wearing it, may we be blessed by your loving protection, preserved in the grace of your Son, O most powerful Virgin, Mother of our Saviour, Keep us close to you every moment of our lives. Obtain for us, your children, the grace of a happy death, so that in union with you we may enjoy the bliss of heaven forever. Amen. O Mary, conceive without sin. 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 given them bread from heaven. Let us pray. O God, who in his wonderful sacrament left us a memorial of your passion, grant, we implore you, to venerate the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, as always to be conscious of the fruit of your redemption. You who live and reign forever and ever. The divine praises. Blessed be God, blessed be his holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be his most sacred heart, 
Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be our holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and his angels and in his saints. May the heart of Jesus in the most blessed sacrament be praised, adored and loved with grateful affection at every moment in all the tabernacles of the world, even till the end of time. Amen. Praise the Lord, now and forever. Thank you for your presence this morning, and may the day now be one of peace and health for all of you. God bless you.